One of the things that you can do right away is take a diagnostic test. I recommend doing this. You just get a guidebook. You basically get a CD-ROM in the guidebook and you, you sit down and take the three to four hour tests. One of the things that you can do is as soon as you get a test result the, and the, the books will score it for you, basically you can figure out whether or not you're at or above the mean scores for your REACH schools on the SAT or on the ACT. And depending on which test is better, you might want to go with that test. I know that sounds really simple, but there's a few other things that you might want to consider. The SAT is more of a, a linear deductive reasoning test. It's more of a math kind of test. And so people that do really well at that kind of thinking, logical thinking, tend to do really well on the SAT. If you're a little bit more inductive, you might do better on the ACT, which is a little bit more of a content-based test that measures more or less what you learned in high school. Now, it's really important to note that colleges will take either of these tests equally. Now, if you have, the most important thing is that you have your test scores or at or above the mean scores at your reach colleges. That's the most important sort of test to be able to test which of these tests is the right test for you.